All right, so let's set up email automation for WordPress. So the first thing we need to do is to log into our WordPress admin dashboard and then come over here to plugins. Click on add new and then add a plugin called Fluent CRM. This is the free one. So here it is. I'm going to click install and then activate. Next, we're going to add another one called Fluent SMTP. So I'm going to click on add new and search for Fluent SMTP. So this is what connects your email to a sending provider. So now I'm going to click on install now and then activate. So the basic Fluent CRM that we've just installed has very limited features. So I highly recommend that you download the pro version. Uh, I have a link in the video description below, which has a massive discount. All right. So let's go ahead now and install the pro version. So I'm going to click on add new. Now I already downloaded it. So I'm going to click upload plugin and then click on uh, choose file. Now this is in my downloads folder. So I'm just going to go over here and install it. I'm going to click install and then activate the plugin. All right, great. So what we need to do next is to come over here to Fluent CRM and then go to settings. So now you can see it's going to give us some steps on how to set this up quickly. I highly recommend that we go through this as well because this is very important. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to say, let's go. So here is where you need to add your business address. I'm going to add my address. Now I'm going to go next. So here we need to uh, set up a basic list. So this could be maybe a list for subscribers or customers. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to say subscribers here. And for the second one here, I'm going to say customers. But of course, in your case, you can add whatever you want. I'm going to click next. Now here we're also going to need some tags. So I'm going to say new customer. And then for this one here, I'm just going to say subscriber and then click next. So basically everything now has been installed. So we're good to go. Now, here we're being asked to install Fluent Forms. I highly recommend you do that as well because this could help with collecting your leads to build your mailing list. So let's go ahead and click on uh, Complete Installation. Great. So right now, we do not have any contacts to import, but if you have any contacts, you can import them by clicking here. But now we're just going to go straight to our CRM. So over here on the right, you're going to notice that uh, we have a few things here crossed out. So here you can see we have created a tag. So you may want to go through this as well, just to make sure that you've checked all these. But basically, everything is all set. All right, so what we're going to do next is to just uh, go through this and see where everything is. So if I come over here to contacts, this is where it would show the list of all the contacts on my CRM. And over here on the email sequences, this is where we can start creating our email sequence, forms, automations, and so on. So what I'd like to do now is to show you how to import all your contacts into Fluent CRM. So to do that, you want to come over here and then click on all contacts. So this is where you import them. So you click here on the import button and I've got CSV selected. I'm going to go next. And for my delimiter, I'm just going to use comma separated. And now I can upload my file over here. So here is my file. I'm going to drag and drop it here. So all I have to do now is to match my first name and my email and that's all I need to do. And then all of all the way down here, I'm just going to make sure that my status here is set to subscribed. And then I'm just going to click on confirm import. So now all my contacts are going to be downloaded onto my CRM. And here you can see there's 423. Okay, great. So now if you want to filter all your contacts, you can just click here on the drop down so you can choose by customers or subscribers. Or you can also come over here to the advanced where you can specifically go to whatever applies to you. So let's say you have an online shop. So all your WooCommerce customers are going to be shown here as well as their purchases. So you can choose whatever it is that you want to show over here. Next, let's take a look and see how we can create a campaign. So I'm going to come over here and hover over emails, click on all campaigns, and then I'm going to say create new campaign. So let's give this a title. So I'm just going to call this test create campaign. And I can just start typing over here. So I'm just going to say hello at first name. We can add our email contents here in our email builder. And we can also add things like uh, images. So let's say if you want to add an image, you can just add a forward slash so you can see uh, everything that we can add here. So let's look for an image. And in fact, it's the top one here. I'm going to select it and we can upload an image or if we have any images in our media library, we can, over, we can always come over here and uh, choose our image from, a, from our media library. If not, you can upload one from your computer. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click on Select Files. So I'm going to go with this image here. I'm going to click on Select. And now my image has been added onto my email. 
Now I can further add more items here. And let's say, for example, I need to add a button. I'm going to add forward slash and search for my button. And here it is. Select that. And I can add my button text by saying click here, for example. And if I click on this button, I can also add my URL in here. So I'm just going to add a blank one just like that and then just save. So the email builder is really cool. If you've used the Gutenberg blocks, you'll find this very, very easy to use. So once you've added all your email contents, we also have templates here on the top. So you can choose to go maybe with uh, this template here or maybe even this one. So it just depends what you want to go with, but everything here is available for you. So usually I just go with this simple basic one here. Now I can just click on continue, add your email subject. And then you can click here on continue to next step. Now you can choose who needs to see this email. So by default, you send the emails to everyone, but you can also specify where you want these emails to go. So let's say they were separated by tags. You can specifically send this email to, let's say, for example, a specific subscriber, or it can be to a new customer. So if we had, say, new customers here, they would show up and this will filter the new customers and we can send them and the number will be shown here on the bottom. We can also go to the advanced filter and if you had other programs uh, installed on your website like uh, LearnDash or WooCommerce, you can really drill in and say, for example, uh, send email based on only people that subscribed for a specific course. So that's also how this could work. All right, so now that we are not adding any filters here, if you're ready, you can just go on now to the next step and just click on here. And now this is processing all our emails. So our email now is ready to be sent. But what's really cool here is we can also scroll down here to the bottom, send them right away, or we can schedule them by coming over here. You can select a specific date. So let's say you want to send this, say, in, um, in a couple of days, maybe on the 23rd, you can hit OK, and then you can hit schedule this campaign and now this has been scheduled so as soon as the date comes it is going to send all these emails and pretty much we are good to go now let's take a look at automations this is one of my favorite so over here on automations we can uh, add our automations based on so many triggers so if i click here on this plus button we can say okay we want our automation to start based on let's say a tag applied and then we're going to say new customer or let's say new subscriber I'm going to hit continue. So here we can choose our tag and we're going to say subscriber. So as soon as someone subscribes to our mailing list, they are going to be added on to this automation. So now we have new subscriber. So over here we can add a several conditions. So the first option here is to go for a single action. So if I say add action, we have all these options. So we could say, okay, let's wait a day. So I'm just going to add my day here, save. And then for the next step, we can add another action. And this time, let's say you want to send a custom email. You can do that by coming over here. You can also send an email sequence. You can cancel automations. There's a lot you can do here. So let's say we want to add a basic email here. Okay, so uh, let's say this one here is a welcome because they've just subscribed onto your uh, mailing list. So here we're gonna say uh, hello at like what we did before. And first name, just to personalize it. We're going to paste our text in here and then click on save settings. So that's the email that's going to be sent. And the really cool thing here is we can also go in and, and uh, customize this by saying welcome email. So this just makes sense as you are setting up everything here. I'm going to hit save. So now you can see this is the welcome email. We also have uh, conditional actions. So if I click here, uh, I could say, okay, check condition. And this condition could be based on, um, you know, so many parameters. So let's say if I click on add, I could say I want to send this based on uh, whether the person is from a certain segment. And I want to come over here to tags and I'm going to say this person needs to be a new customer. OK, so the condition is going to be checked if the person is a new customer. So I'm going to say new customer and question mark. So this is what makes really uh, what really makes sense to me. Now I'm going to hit save settings. So now you can see that 
whatever is going to happen here is going to be based on whether the person is a new customer. So if it's a new customer, I could say, okay, maybe write an email here, uh, add an email, which gives them a different offer. If they're not a customer, I could maybe send a discount code for them to purchase uh, one of my products, or I could uh, say, you know, buy one of my courses. So these are the conditions that we can add to this. And then finally, once you're done here, you can just add the last action, which is end funnel here. And then I'm just going to hit save settings and pretty much our funnel is complete. Now, what's really cool here is you can also see stats. So if you click here, you can really see where people are dropping off along the whole funnel. And then finally, you can just activate this. So once this is activated, you can really see all the stats as this is happening in real time. Now, finally, you need to connect uh, Fluent CRM for, for this to be able to send emails out. And this is where we need to add our Fluent SMTP. So to do that, you want to come over here to settings. And then all the way down here, there is uh, your SMTP uh, service settings. Just click on that, configure Fluent SMTP. And this is where you have all these options that we can choose. So let's say you want to go with SendGrid. You can just click over here, add your from email. So this should also match with what you have over here from SendGrid. So this is a very, uh, really cool email sending del or delivery system. I really like this. Uh, it's uh, very inexpensive, but you can also use uh, something like Amazon SES. But this one here is very, very easy to set up. So if you come over here to your plans and pricing, if you're just starting off, you can send 100 emails per day for free forever. And you don't even need a credit card to set this all up. So once you uh, set it all up, you can just come over here, add your from email address, your from name. And then over here, all you need is your API key. So once you paste your API key and save connections, your emails now are ready to be sent. So this is how basically you get started with Fluent CRM to start sending emails on your WordPress website. Now, like I said, I have a discount for Fluent CRM in the video description below. Check it out and uh, get started with sending professional emails with Fluent CRM. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Want to save time designing websites? Download my free SiteMaker Divi template. It has a header, footer, a 404 page, and also buttons, text, headings, all pre-designed for you, giving you a professional working website right from the get-go. It is very easy to customize. It's 100% free. Link to that in the video description below. And if you haven't bought Divi yet, get 10% off when you use my link in the video description below.